Hello there guys and welcome to Coxnot Gaming and welcome back to Starbound. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the wiring tool, or as some of you pointed out, I mispronounced it before and called it the wiring tool. My bad. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'll be showing you how to make and use it. So without further ado, without, uh, to unlock the wiring tool blueprint, you need to have downed the second boss, uh, which also means you've then unlocked the robotic crafting table. Uh, so once you've done that, you'll come in here and you'll see I have the wiring tool here. Uh, it costs 10 gold bars, 10 silver bars, 10 copper bars and 20 titanium panels. Uh, 20 titanium panels equates to about 7 titanium bars. So all in all, very easy to get once you've reached the planets which obviously supply those ores. Um, so once you've built that, you've obviously got it in your hand. And then so you need to look for things to uh, to wire up. Now one thing I will say is there's a lot of stuff in the game at the moment which looks like it should um, be implemented with the wiring functionality but at the moment it doesn't. I think that's just down to the fact it's beta, fair enough, but not everything's implemented yet. So an example being the iron... where are we? Iron... the iron lever surely the function for that is to activate that and something else happens but at the moment it's just a prop and another another example being if I go to my anvil uh, just any type of uh, console so we've got all of these console types and at the moment none of them uh, actually provide any sort of um, activation which I, I think is a bit lame uh, but because of, obviously to me that's meant to be their primary um, surface uh, sorry prime primary uh, function so um, yeah it's a bit lame things I have found out in the wild so nothing we we can craft ourselves uh, that do provide this kind of activation function um, is uh, if you've ever been to sewers you get those uh, water pressure wheels on the walls um, those can be activated and thus those can be connected to objects to then perform their function um, and the other thing I found is in Florin prisons um, they have these consoles dotted around which actually open up the prison cell doors and um, that then means um, obviously they're linked up using the wiring system already so you know that is just a, a major giveaway that that can be used in your own wiring if you ever need to, need to be uh, sadly I don't actually have any of them on me I found I found those on my previous character before the wipe but um, I, I do have an example set up to show off the wiring here and it's basically using two doors because the doors at the moment as far as I've been able to tell are the only thing which we can create which uh, does have access to the wiring system so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip out my wiring tool and as you see immediately the interface has changed and these objects here um, have got a red dot on them which uh, represents the action uh, or the the usage action so eff effectively me pressing E on it and uh, a purple ring which represents the action of the object after it's been used so in this case the opening of the door um, so one thing you'll notice is obviously with all activating uh, items as I walk close they glow um, if I try and click on these from a distance nothing happens but if I come close uh, I can now click on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this door here my switch effectively and I'm going to make it control this door here so I want to get close enough for it to flash again even with the red laser up I can't connect to that until I'm close enough uh, to do that so you'll see there as soon as I've done that it's immediately done the action and so now um, one thing you will have to know is when you have your wiring tool up you can't activate items so you need to make sure to then switch off that and every time I now click this door the other door opens and closes which is pretty cool and obviously if this was like I said one of the sewer water uh, wheel things that would do the same action or one of the floor and prison things and hopefully in the future loads of the consoles and the, the iron lever that we can make ourselves but I don't seem to do anything for the moment uh, one thing of note is as you can see here I'm bashing E on this door it can no longer be selected this here is only selected from here obviously I can still destroy that um, which is a bit annoying for the sake of you could say make your ship lockable from the inside you can have a, a switch in your ship that when you're in your ship you lock it and obviously it then stops people getting further than where you are because uh, they can't interact with this door 
but that being said all they have to do is just run up to it with a pick or a drill and just bash it so uh, it'd be nice at some point if you could have indestructible things on player ships um, but apart from the ship owner of course uh, but obviously that's just uh, nitpicking um, so yeah this has been a tutorial on how to use the wiring tool so if you have any more questions on it please let me know and I'll be sure to try and answer them to the best of my ability and uh, yeah so I'll see you next time guys goodbye